Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR video, we're going to look at implementing a video sphere. So what is a video sphere? It's basically, you're inside a sphere and you have a video playing in, on the sphere inside itself. It covers the entire sphere, so when you look around, it actually looks like you're looking around in a live environment. I've got the video that we're going to be using right here. Just play this. Huh. Might not look anything special at the moment, but once this is actually wrapped around, it's going to look epic because when you look left, you'll probably be seeing part of the car. When you look right, you'll be seeing this part of it. And when you look center on, you'll probably be seeing this. So to implement it's really simple, very similar to how you would implement an image or a video. You want to load the asset first in the asset loader. You can do it using just a direct method, not recommended. You want to use the asset manager within WebVR, I mean within A-Frame. But as an extra task, I recommend going through the video tutorial and the photo, I mean the image tutorial and try and implement a similar direct implementation as well. So let's get started. First of all, what we want to do, we are actually uh, deleted the scene. We've got to make sure we have a scene. Uh, my bad, I'm just preparing this for this video. So within the scene, we want a assets element and within here we're going to be loading our assets which is just one asset which is video id equals i'm going to call it sphere video so this is what we're going to be using to refer to it auto play loop equals true these are all really simple attributes of this particular element if you do want them great if you don't want them you should be able to disable them or remove them but if you have any questions feel free to ask and for the source we're going to put video forward slash and we've got the video file right here fear video so dot web m extension fear video dot web m and finally put web kit dash plays in line this is just so it works on ios as well and make sure you have this meta tag for ios as well i will just put it anyway even if you don't plan on using ios because it won't cause any conflicts with other devices so it's good to have it so now we can actually implement the video sphere tag so we do a video no a dash video sphere I don't know how the hell I'll try to spell sphere there. It wasn't right at all. Go source, and for this, you could even use the direct method, which I recommend trying to do yourself. It would be a great way of learning, see how things work. Or you could just use this preferred method, which is hash video sphere video. And now we can save that, refresh our page. We now have our video sphere. We can actually look around now. And it looks a lot better than the, the aspect of it before. Hello, Mr. Lego. But honestly, on a VR headset, it just looks phenomenal. So now, that is it, really. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that. Plus, there'll be another link to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment but if you do not like it feel free to comment as well and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day